Yes, Mark. Um, just a few questions here we want to touch for our listeners and our general audience, local and overseas. So, Mark, why is it important to register business that several time persons are not so interested in registering business? Why? Well, I think for many persons, and I could say that I was at that place where I didn't want to register business because of the fear of taxes, meaning that I'll be exposed. And uh, being exposed meaning that I have to pay taxes to the government. Yes. However, that's uh, an interesting thought, but a misunderstanding. All right, you're already exposed, whether you register a business or not. So what you should ask yourself is, what are the benefits for me if I register a business? If I don't register a business, what are some of the challenges that I will face? So one of the simple benefits that you could say in registering a business is that it gives you a, a professional brand so you don't have to keep your business in your name so if your name is john brown all right you could register a business meaning as a trading as a sole trader or even a partnership and you could call it jb enterprises it gives a professional feel the other thing is that when you do register a business there are several opportunities that you can access with the bank you now become a business customer and with a business customer your transaction limits are different you set your own transaction limits online banking transaction limits so it is important that you understand that there are some benefits right there now benefits in terms of getting loans benefits in terms of getting grants the dbj grant that i mentioned earlier it would be difficult or impossible to i should say to receive that type of grant or even a voucher without you having a, a business registered so you get more support from the government and even private sector when you do register your business question mark because we have or this program caters to young investors and entrepreneurs i'm probably say boy you know how can i access a grant i'm just a you know up and coming business you know just starting up I, my cash flow is low can those persons still get a grant yes so currently the development bank of jamaica has what you'd call a, a dbj voucher i'm doing the development bank of jamaica voucher for technical assistance where as a, a new entrepreneur meaning that you would have started your business registered with the company's office of jamaica you can apply for one of these vouchers for technical assistance and when you apply for that voucher you could get a voucher for example to do mentorship and coaching to help you with a business plan a financial plan you will be able to access services that a company for example like a eight palms international will offer so if you really want more information about the dbj voucher you could go on their website that's www.dbjvoucher.com and you can research the information and uh, set up a profile and apply for the voucher it's a very simple process but the most important thing to access it you have to have a registered business excellent the other area is is a sensitive area for us as jamaicans and persons doing business all over why is it important to file tax or pay taxes in a business? Um, yes, could you could you elaborate or explain on that? Okay. Well, we all know that taxes is a way that the government uses to charge us as individuals and entities to support the economy. You know, whatever program, whether it's a social program or otherwise. So it is important to pay your taxes from the perspective that it, you know, the government will be using the funds to provide the necessary 
support that is needed like for example you know healthcare education road you name it and government even use your tax dollars to somewhat you know provide support when it comes to these grants and vouchers for entrepreneurs so yes it's important what's also important is to know how much tax to pay and the types of taxes to pay mark yeah i'm not an accountant but with my experience in business and speaking with various accountants you know they will tell you that your income tax is a very important tax we have march 15th coming around you know i would say on on, on monday yeah, so or maybe you know by the time you're watching this video but in jamaica it's the ta taxes income taxes are due on the 15th of march so you want to ensure that you pay attention to this tax another set of ta taxes you want to pay attention to is the payroll taxes some entrepreneurs say hey you know what i don't have any employees so i don't need to file this tax whether you have an employee or not you should file your taxes most entrepreneurs just starting out you know they might not be employing someone to file a nil return because they don't have anybody who is being employed and you know for them they are probably full-time you know employed in another organization and the business isn't paying them any money right now but get your accountant the accountant will give you some more guidance the key thing is understanding how much tax you need to pay and to determine that you need to be tracking your finances you know sometimes uh, as um, entrepreneurs the only part of the finances we track is the amount of money that we are making uh, it's not just good enough to track the amount of money that you make you have to track the amount of money that you spend and keeping proper records because if you don't keep proper records then you won't be able to demonstrate to government that these expenses that you incurred are tax deductible expenses that's that means that instead of government saying that you, you earned a million dollars last year pay 25 percent of a million dollars he said no 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 for me to earn a million dollars i have to pay rent i have to buy you know raw material i have to do this you know purchase gas for my vehicle or whatever the case is so it is important to keep proper records right now guys we are turning off ready well still on ready road and we're gonna go up to belvedere and we're supposed to see some real estate development here shortly and those are opportunities in business for Jamaicans versus the diaspora, anyone invest in brand Jamaica. Okay, Mark, you're speaking about proper records. And I'm a person and basically I've learned a lot from previous experience, school, mentorship program, or budgeting, because that's an integral part. part. And you collect the records because even if you say, for instance, you go and buy and you get your receipt, you put it in there and you make up your monthly budget. How's that process been for you? And what do you have to share with that to young investors or entrepreneurs? You know, as a personal financial coach, I always tell persons that it's important to have a budget, yes, but what's even more important is to know how to develop a budget. So most of us develop a budget based on what we think our expenses are going to be. But in the corporate world, a budget is developed based on the actual historical data of expenses so the company company's accountant will be tracking the regular expenses of the business and they will be able to develop a budget based on that as individuals we need to do the same thing you see if we don't track our expenses then it's going to be difficult for us to create a proper budget a budget that matches reality close to being accurate something that you can really follow the big challenge for many of us is that we create a budget and we just can't follow the budget because it's far from what reality is we're spending far more than what we would love to spend you know most persons create a budget with an intention to spend that amount of money but not necessarily what they would normally spend on a regular basis for food you know for transportation whatever it is so it is important yes to have a budget but more importantly is to know that you need to track your money 
Very good. Is it, or what is your greatest achievement as a young man? Well, my greatest achievement is the, the day when I found out that my son was born and he never had any challenges, you know, and even up till today he's very healthy. And for me, it is my greatest achievement. I will not have another son like that, you know, with same, you know, personality traits, same type of features. So to me, it's important, you know, I'm not going to say money or, you know, a type of house or a motor vehicle because those things, you know, yeah, they are important. But right now, that's not my, my driving force right now. You know, I've been driven by other things. Thanks. It's really profound to see, you know, young men really picking up the kids and playing an integral role in their lives of the kids because this is Investor Lifestyle Jamaica. Health is your world. Family, a stable family, a nuclear family is the best way, best approach. Healthy, everything is basically. On Riddles Road, heading over to Belvedere. So this is a fairly recent development that took place. It was funded by GMMB. It was a, a lot that was developed. As you notice in this area, there's a lot of development taking place. I uh, wish we got here a little earlier, but unfortunately, at a certain time in the corporate area, we have a lot of traffic to deal with. But at least, guys, you can see that you know things are taking place buildings are going up so if you as I said earlier have access to a property or can find a property in this location and have it developed you can make a lot of money you know for many persons who are landowners their biggest challenge is to be able to find the capital to develop their property because indeed it's a capital intensive opportunity very capital intensive and if you don't have the money to do it then you won't be able to do it now there's there are other developments taking place in this area I love this area I know there's an you know two property acquisitions that we are pursuing we did a business plan for a client who owns I think probably about six acres and we're gonna drive past his land about six acres here so we did that business plan for him to access financing from one of the banks I remember when that one was being sold okay So on the right, starting in the next few meters on, on our right, all of this land belongs to the client. So what we are doing, we are, we are working on this beautiful project. There's a little hotel, but it's broken down. You know, that's a part of his property. And we are, we are going to develop the entire stretch right here. It's a beautiful <coughs> residential housing developments it's because I haven't spoken to him I don't want to give much details about you know the development that he's pursuing but we have this opportunity which is a beautiful opportunity in the Belvedere area and of course there are other acquisitions that we are pursuing and of course you can pursue acquisitions in this area as well yes it's not difficult uh, question persons might ask, you know, how we find the landowners? Well, we can help you with that. At Eight Palms. At Eight Palms International. If you identify a land, you just Google pin the land and we can help you to identify who the landowner is and probably get in touch with the landowner for you. That just come at a cost. There are a number of services that we offer as it relates to real estate development from finding the land, buying the land. Um, and we have lawyers on board as well that, that help with the process, more than one. So 
it's a it's a it's an area that is booming in Jamaica and many of you can attest to that you know real estate in Jamaica is probably one of the more stable sectors yes um, the real estate is is well in terms of what the COVID-19 statistics has shown the COVID-19 was the least affected or, or it wasn't affected because while several stocks went down the price of real, real estate remain steady and, and increase over time that's something I've, I've been, been studying so basically that's how that's it. even a good book speak about the three best areas food clothing shelter real estate construction those three era food agriculture clothing we have to wear clothes all right mark all right indeed 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 so what we're gonna do after we leave Bell video we're gonna head over to Chancery Hall and we're just gonna show you a view of the city from one of the properties that we are helping our client to acquire in Chancery Hall so stay tuned stay blessed stay blessed like share comment invest a lifestyle so invest a lifestyle Jamaica Stang, thanks for the support love you guys yes mark what location is this yeah this is a a very private location in chance Hall. and from this private location in chance Hall, you're looking out and you're seeing the view the intention is really for us to you know help the client to put a house spot here um, so we get the architect and we'll do the design we'll get the contracting firm construction firm and uh, we will build whatever the architect would have designed now just imagine it's a lovely house on this plot just look at the view beautiful what's the size of this on the acreage well the size of this is i would estimate it about three quarter of an acre three quarter you know, it, it stretches from one one yeah. road to the next road you can't see from here but further down the bottom the client indicated that they would like to cut it in two so you'll have one plot on this side access from this road at the top the next plot on the other side you know that you can access now it's a very cool environment peaceful calm serene once you're up here you'll stay up here for as long as possible sometimes you know i like to come here and just to reflect and meditate think about the plants ahead